Welcome back. In Brooklyn, I found a woman who took the use of color in her home to the next level. Check out why she's house proud. Hey, Nate, welcome to Brooklyn. I can't wait to show you why I'm so house proud. Come on in. My name is Melanie. I'm a Brooklyn-based carpet designer. People are really surprised when they come into my house. They see a traditional front, and so they expect the interior to match. But step inside, it feels more like a Caribbean oasis. When I designed this place, I wanted my home to be reminiscent of the Caribbean. The floors and the walls are painted in shades of teal along with orange and lavender. Welcome to my living room. I decided to use two area rugs to make it look like there's two different spaces. And since I'm a carpet designer and I have a carpet company, I decided to create my own. These are two of my favorites. Wolof, which is inspired by my trip to Senegal, West Africa, and St. Vincent, which is reminiscent of the waters for my mother's home country in the Caribbean. I love to travel, and all of my designs have been inspired by places that I've been, as well as my own African Caribbean heritage. My home actually showcases all my finds from around the world. Here's my kitchen. I really love this space. It's wide and open. It's perfect for cooking and entertaining. I have a few really cool modern elements in my kitchen. One of them is my cooking hood. It actually looks like a chef's hat. Here's my master bedroom. I love this room. My favorite piece in this room is my headboard. This is a piece of fabric that I found from India. This is a really simple project anybody could do. I took the fabric and stretched it around the wood frame, and voila, it becomes a headboard and is also a work of art. I found this great side table at a thrift store. I love the pattern on it. I take pictures of my space before I go shopping so I can see if the pieces that I'm interested in coordinate with my space. Thanks for stopping by, Nate. Now you can see why I'm so house proud. Bye. <laughs> Mulaney is joining us today. Hey there. Hi, Nate. It's great to meet you. Oh, it's so great to meet you. So I want people to understand that design is an instant, especially in your circumstance. Mm -hmm. So it took you a lot of time and effort to make this space really reflect your personality and what you wanted it to be. Exactly. Well, here's the thing. So I want to, let's look at the hallway before. So that's what you walked into. I sure did, Nate. It takes a little vision to walk into that and know that it can look like this. I mean, it's, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. How long was the process? Well, the process, actually, it took nine months to get a permit, just okay. to get permission to do the construction. Welcome to I New York City, everybody. Exactly. Yeah. I know you're very familiar oh, with that. Oh, yeah. They're really good friends at the permit department. <laughs> and once I got the clearance, it took a year just to do the renovation. Okay. So it felt like, actually, I had two babies in, a, in 18 months. Doesn't that feel like that? <laughs> yes. It really does. So this house is really one of my babies. It is. It really is. But when you put that kind of effort into it, so what is the feeling? I mean, you're a rug designer, you have a rug company, yeah. you're surrounded by color. A lot of people that I meet don't want to live with a lot of color when they work with a lot of color, me being one of them, uh -huh. but you went the other direction. What's the feeling that you get when you walk through your front door? I always feel like I'm in another world. I love to travel, Nate, mm -hmm. so I wanted my place to feel like I was taken away to another country. On vacation at home. Exactly. I think Melanie did a really good job, right, everybody? <laughs> it's a gorgeous job. Oh, thank you thank so Thank you much. for being here. Thank, thank you. you for being here. Up next, learn how to turn things that you usually throw in the trash can into really cool accessories for every room in your house. We'll be right back.